today we are going to 3D print blades for the quadcopter. Let's get started. So let me just update you on the designs that I've done in the past. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer, design these wonderful, awesome 3D printed blades, and 3D print them. The blades have finished and here they are. But not just the blades. In fact, I also 3D printed a balancing stand so I can balance these incredibly awesome looking blades. Because I learned something about 3D printed blades, or in other words, just blades in general. Quadcopter blades need to be balanced. Otherwise, when they're on here and they're spinning around at high speeds, they tend to wobble. If you have one side that's more heavier than the other side, then it slings around like a slingshot and it wobbles this frame to pieces and we don't want that to happen. Four blades total, two spinning clockwise, two spinning counterclockwise. So let's go ahead and clean these parts up and get them all balanced. all the blades so the next step is to actually install them on the quadcopter and get these things going. Alrighty so all the blades are installed and we are ready to test this thing but before we go out and fly this thing there are a few safety concerns that I have. Let's say your blade is spinning around. Well as the blade starts to spin around the g-forces wanting to rip the blade apart start to gain. And as it starts to gain, eventually, if it starts spinning too fast, it will explode. And so to help prevent that, I printed them at 100% infill, and I don't think I ever will attempt to ever print them with an infill less than 100%. Let's go out and test this thing. Here's throttle, if I go for full up, it doesn't take off. So, Maybe I need to print bigger props. First try, fail. Well, that did not turn out the way I expected it to. No worries, we'll redesign these blades, print them out, and try them again. Um, this one's a lot larger. Hopefully would push more air and cause this thing to fly. So now we're gonna go ahead and test fly it. See if it works. Ooh. Okay. it didn't work because it was too thick and created a lot of wobbling that occurred um, even though I did balance it. Um, and I designed this. This one worked uh, quite well actually. It flew off the ground, which is off the ground and actually flew. Um, this is one of the first blades that I could actually get a decent flight out of. Um, and then I landed onto the side of the table and I took over the edge and broke the drone. And that was kind of the end of that project for a while and I haven't gotten back to it in quite some time until just recently. And then I decided that I wanted to print some more of those blades and try the flight again. And so I fixed the quadcopter and now I'm ready to try the next set of blades. So. I went ahead and printed them again. They showed a very good promise on that particular flight. Also, I've adjusted the quadcopter a little bit more, so it's a little bit more stable, as well as the motor controllers are also, I discovered, weren't set right for most of my flights. So I've changed those settings, so now they're set properly for a quadcopter. So now, I bet you these blades will work beautifully. There's only one way to find out. I gotta test them out. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these blades up, balance them on the balancer, and put them on the quadcopter and fly them. Hang on. Put the blades on backwards. <laughs> Why? Wow. That is impressive. Way less throttle to take off. Yeah. Look how stable that is.
Let's go see how sturdy they are. <laughs> that was a crappy landing. Oh. I broke it. Drop down. That was an incredible flight. I have to say, I prefer these blades over the Servot blades. As long as you don't crash it, because obviously you're gonna break it one the moment you crash it. So I'm gonna print another one of these blades and probably fly it later. All right, so are these blades practical? You could just buy like a pack of them for really cheap online. You know, if you don't mind work, they're practical. I will say this, the proof of concept is definitely here, and I think that eventually we could have machines that could fix themselves by just carrying a printer around, and they just print their own parts and replace their own parts when they break, which would be pretty phenomenal. Definitely futuristic. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Because, you know, that's not all. Gosh, Bryson.